Good afternoon, YouTube. Andrea, aka Bullhorn Betty here. As many of you guys know, we are going back into the case. We are researching all of the press conferences. We are looking into all the details related to this case because, you know, law enforcement has slowed down their search efforts in the Summer Wells case because they've done everything they can do. So at this time, it is appropriate to go back and try to put the pieces of the puzzle together. I'm noticing going back over this stuff, which I've watched many times, that there's fine information, fine little details that we've missed. And this segment is no different. Did law enforcement know that Summer would not be coming back home alive? Did they know this nine days after her disappearance? Watch this clip. As mentioned before, as Sheriff here mentioned, please continue to search your personal property. Sullivan County, Hawkins County, the, mainly the Beach Creek community, and even, even if you branch a little bit further, please search. And I've been telling these searchers here the last several days, when you're looking for this property, you're not looking for adult laying there. You're not looking for adult hiding in the building. We're looking for a five-year-old girl that weighed approximately 40 pounds. Somebody that size could wad up, could, be, could, could hide in an area that a legal size piece of paper or a folded up laptop could go. What are your thoughts? Did you hear the gentleman say that this is a five-year-old child that can be folded up? into a laptop size area. That doesn't sound to me like somebody they think they're gonna be bringing back safely. If you listen to this next clip, you're going to hear them further talk about scaling back the efforts. Doesn't sound like they anticipated her coming home safe. Search efforts will continue on a more specialized team basis throughout the rest of the week. Just because you may not see us in such a large, large presence, once again, rest assured, we are still out here searching for summer winds. If many of you guys know, I've discussed this. I've discussed, you know, FBI protocol and at what time do they switch gears and start looking this at the case as a homicide investigation, as opposed to a missing person investigation. I said usually within two weeks. This is nine days. I want you to listen to this next clip of Leslie Earhart discussing some details about the case. What have you asked us in a previous briefing the standard amount of time it takes for a case like this to be resolved. While every case is different, this one is definitely outside of the norm. Typically, in an investigation like this one, we have some idea of where the case is headed and what might have happened within a few days. If we develop information that will lead to locating Summer, we will share that with you first thing, first and foremost. Leslie, at this point in the search and investigation, do you believe Summer Wells is still alive? We hope so, but honestly, we just don't know. Does it sound to you like this is a recovery effort or to find a missing child? It is with sad news today that I believe all of our optimism, all of our hopes for baby Summer Wells are being realized. And if we would have paid close attention nine days after she went missing, we may have heard it ourselves. But because we were so hopeful and because we were so optimistic, I believe that our ears shut off when it came to knowing 
whether Summer Wells would make it back safely or not. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions, your comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.